This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. Coming from McCook, Nebraska, the middle of America, if you will. Well, we lost another war. Yeah, not the first one that we ever lost, but we lost this one over there in Afghanistan. Thought we could get those people out of the Dark Ages, and it didn't work. They don't want it. They would rather have their God and all of their ways of tribalism. That's the way they want to live, so be it. But, what did we learn from this? Well, number one is the 10,000 many Americans that were living there should have seen what was coming and on their own got out. On their own said, this is too hot, this is too dangerous, I'm out of here, I am out of here. Rather than to wait too long and then expect American troops to risk their lives and the taxpayers to spend their money to go in there and get them. And more than a dozen military personnel were killed. That never needed to have happened. They should have already been out. They should have already been out. And all of the supposed military supplies that were left behind, every one of them should have been destroyed in some form, fashion, or way, if they couldn't have been gotten out in time. It should have been. So, a word to the wise for the future of how to handle things. But just as a hurricane, you will see people Say, I'm going to stay. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I'm going to hang on. And then the, when it hits, then they're begging people to risk their lives to come get them. Yeah. Or, a worst case scenario is Nazi Germany. The Jews knew that it was getting bad. And many escaped, got away from Germany. Absolutely. And even other countries. They came to America in different places of more safety. Absolutely but most of them stayed. They said, surely it won't get worse. Just like the guy with the hurricane, or like the people in Afghanistan. But it always usually goes to the dark side. And the Jews of Nazi Germany, they had two options, just as the Afghanistans have two options. Very simple. When tyranny is coming at you, you make them pay a heavy price for your life. Yeah, an Alamo concept, if you will. So expensive that they just say it isn't worth it to do this. And you start at the top and work your way down. Killing privates doesn't win wars. But with that, the Nazis could have also been stopped by the Jews that were left. Six million Jews were killed in the concentration camps, they say, though the numbers are disputed. But figure half of those were adults, three million. That's an army, a formidable army inside a country. And if they didn't play fair, they could have destroyed Germany from within so that there would have never needed to be a World War II. My father and millions of others around the world wouldn't have had to go risk their lives fighting the Germans over there. Absolutely, it could have been done. And the other option is to get out before it gets worse. Get out before it's worse. You have two options in whatever you're doing. I suggest, though, that if it's hot where you are, it's going tyrannical. Think ahead. If you need to get out, get it done and don't expect someone else to have to come risk their lives to save you. And if you're going to stay, Make them pay a heavy price for taking you. You guys have a good day.